Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Anatomy of a Goal. I'm Greg Lawless, Editor-in-Chief of MLSsoccer.com. Today we look at a goal that nobody would call beautiful or a golasso, but Jerry Benson's header against the Chicago Fire in a 1-0 victory for the New England Revolution on Saturday, March 9th, 2013, is an interesting case of how to exploit the chaos that comes in the wake of a corner kick. Let's wind it back and break it down. This play begins with a typical corner kick. Nothing very remarkable here. The Revolution players line up and attack, and the Chicago Fire players defend and actually win the ball. It's only now that things get interesting. But let's talk generally about the aftermath of a cleared corner kick. It's a kind of chaos. Many players are out of position and the ball is in limbo. And that combination is always dicey for a defense, one that can be exploited by a clever attack which is exactly what happens on Benson's goal. Let's look at the Chicago defense after the initial clearance. A few things to notice. One, Yazid Tuba takes off, leaving Chicago's back post wide open. Two, Chris Rolfe only half-heartedly challenges Kellen Rowe on the first ball and then inexplicably ignores him. Three, not enough pressure on Juan Toha. He seems to have enough time for a strong Colombian coffee before he has to make a decision. And four, the most important one. All the men in red are ball watching. Now I imagine manager Frank Klopas is cringing right now. I know I am. And on the other side, Revs manager Jay Heaps is smiling because what happens next is subtle but telling. Watch Kellen Rowe. After winning the head ball, he moves diagonally to create an angle for Toha to lay the ball off. This movement, slight as it is, gives him amazing options. He can take a shot, We'll play the ball over the top. Meanwhile, the fire back line is just watching it all happen. And we all know the consequences of being caught ball watching. You lose your man. The man in this case is Benson, who lingers at the far post, casually making sure he stays on side, ready to pounce if the ball makes it over to him. Which of course it does. He's made his name on goals like this for Honduras, and now maybe he's primed to do it more often for his club. Well, that's it for this episode of Anatomy of a Goal. Join me next time when we'll wind it back and break it down.